Hello guys, I'm gonna show you the tips on how I draw a realistic bed for beginners. These are the tools I use. You see this electric eraser. You can hear the sound. Electric eraser. This is my mono zero eraser. And this is a blender stump. This is a 2B pencil and this is a charcoal pencil. These tools are used for drawing bed. Also, that is the needle eraser. You can form it to any shape you want and it can also be used for highlighting. So I will be showing you the process on how to draw a realistic bird. Before I start, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel to be notified for a video like this. Here I start with blending the whole background with a soft brush to start a first layer. I do this to make sure the white background is being feathered. I start adding the hairs with a charcoal pencil, gently, gently. Make sure I will do this to cover the whole background. This will take a while, but I will speed it up. I'm done adding the hairs. So the next step is get a soft brush, dip it in your charcoal powder, and flow gently. You apply it gently with, a, with the help of your soft brush. You can flow very well. So I'll do this continuously to cover the hairs I shaded these parts lightly so I can add the detailed hair with the mono zero eraser as you see I'm adding the hairs This will take a while, but patience is needed. Creating the hair, you can make it single or curved so it will look realistic. This is taking much of my time, so 
I need to speed up. I'm done adding the hairs as you can see the little tiny detailed hair so I'm using my brush my hard brush I'll dip it my charcoal powder then shed the parts so it will be darker and it also help you to differentiate where the dark and the light tones so i do this continuously where the hair is dark so the hair can look realistic I'm done shedding the dark tones so I need to continue the same process by using my mono zero eraser to add highlights in the hair where it is needed so it will look realistic this is what you need to do add the highlights where it is needed to look realistic I'm also going to add some heads with my 4B pencil where it is needed so the hair can pop out do some covings because you know the hair is not straight it is curved and bent so you do that so to look real and good when you take a look at the hair you might think this is the final step but actually it's not you need to use the mono zero eraser again to add some highlights at the center of each hair so to achieve a better result this is what you need to do though it will take lots of time but patience is required to achieve a better result you don't have to rush it you need patience so add the highlights where it is needed you can add the little highlights at the shadow then add enough highlights at the lighter parts If you also find it challenging to use the mono zero eraser, you can decide to use the electric eraser. As you can see it, so it will be more faster. And 
you will achieve a realistic hair in the sense that you can differentiate it to a photo If this really help you or you have learned a new technique on how to draw a realistic dread, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will really help you become a better artist in future. See how the hair looks now see closely what i have achieved in up the process i have just shown you how realistic the dread is in all the process this is what i got as you can see it's very realistic it looks like a hair so realistic so as a beginner try this process and see the results do this continuously and you'll be good at it don't leave this work continue and you'll be perfect with it thanks for watching i'll see you next time